Sure, Luke, thanks. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, Department of Homeland Security, we've made uh, good progress over the past year. Uh, picking off from where we were last year, uh, our access lifecycle management or identity governance effort has expanded over to the entirety of the management directorate and expanding to headquarters for our onboarding and offboarding process. This has really improved our ability to offboard, especially contractor access, by reviewing who's here, who's not here, removing access when they're offboarded or when their contracts expire, yeah. making sure their PIV cards are revoked, their personnel securities are inactivated, and their network accounts are disabled, so cutting off access to all of our systems. From there, we'll also go in enterprise, expanding to FEMA as a second component using ALM. Our derived credentials effort and our mobile device management has also greatly uh, improved over the past year. Last time we talked about it, we were rolling it out. Uh, we were starting and FEMA was using it during the hurricanes. Now we're at seven out of 10 components and about 72,000 derived credentials being used for strong authentication to email and to several web applications across the department. And our continuous diagnostics and mitigation effort partnering with our MPPD partners has rolled out to the enterprise and given us the ability to uh, report on unprivileged access throughout the entire department. And things like, are they suitable? Are they trained? and are they using strong authentication to access our network? And as we expand upon that, our attribute exchange service is also picking up new work, especially integrating with our training systems to be able to automate things like, uh, have you taken your security training, cut off access, have you taken your privilege training, remove your privilege account, and sharing common identity data with all of our components. Wow, so there's a lot just a, of activity going 